same sign and have said I want a yeah. croissant. I want a croissant in the face. Croissant? I want. Croissant is frozen. <laughs> to stop these guys from talking about croissants, we're going to watch this video. I hope you guys like it. Croissant, croissant is frozen. <laughs> okay, the next person that says croissant gets shocked. Croissant. Taser gun. <laughs> Back. Anyway. Oh no, it's. it's really... You're ready. Attention, citizen. Multiple <laughs> third party individuals have reported one or more of oh, your God. recent actions as being inappropriate. Here we go. <laughs> Once a citizen is notified in such a matter, said citizen is reviewed by members of the Adeptus Archives in accordance to the Book of Judgment. Upon review, we have determined that the following actions are in violation of the Book of Judgment. Covering your civilian relief rations with ground-up rotten flesh as to make it more edible. Your imperial oh. right of existence has received one judgment which will expire upon your deathbed. <laughs> are you liking this fable? I can't. We can't with the Adeptus Arbites. Yeah. Additional violation may result in disabling of your legs or uh -huh. the permanent termination of your life. Pretty much. Please note that killing we'll yourself will not resolve the judgment on your existence as you will be reassembled as a semi <laughs> servitor until your tithe has been paid to the Imperium. <laughs> I knew it. I knew people were going to say that. But I didn't um, do anything wrong. If you wish to Abel is just like the freaking out on the inside. Yeah. Fights as to counter he doesn't your like judgment, this. Please inform us as to why you believe the judgment to be wrongful in 20 words or less. No, no, no sir. I covered it in raptors because my children did not want to eat the Russians. They are literally composed gods. <laughs> <laughs> you have reached over your maximum word count. We in the Adeptus <laughs> Arbite shall now process your appeal. Until oh, then, dear. your legs shall be disabled and your food supply shall be limited to one and a half rations per week. We appreciate your understanding. I don't oh, understand anything. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a uh, fable right there. I don't understand anything. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Breaks your legs. Too bad. Wow. <laughs> 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 you just standing there. Because they're Adeptus Arbites, they're post and forth, so. Me. Mm. Why aren't you doing anything? I'm mm. so scared. What am I gonna do? <laughs> mm. so, sir, sir, please help me. I'm being unjustly judged. I didn't mean to do anything bad. Did you? Here we go. Did you cover your severe relief rations and ground up Oh, flesh? great, here we go again. We just needed more nutrients. We were barely alive as it is. Well, I was the one who reported you. Oh, boy. But why? I, you uh, tarnished the name of the Department of Munitorum and the Empress Mercy Bars brand by publicly spreading rat dust over it and having your family consume it. I just wanted to. Brighten my family's day. If you and your ex oh dear. What do yeah, you think? I... Oh. This is stupid. Mm -hmm. This is a Every stupid deal. Do not regurgitate their emperor's mercy yeah. bars within the next twenty-four hours. Regurgitate. You report you for defamation. <laughs> but, but, your bars taste like shit. Damn. Greetings, Arbitrator. I would like to file two judgments upon Imperial Citizen. That guy is like literally almost falling in. <laughs> Pretty much. For publicly harassing the Some of the Adeptus Arbites can be reasonable, others are clearly judge, jury, and executioner like Judge Dredd style. And thus the administrator at large. Five worlds and other such anymore. things are basically soup, uh, mega cities. Yeah. So it made sense that they would base them off Judge Dredd and whatnot. Yeah. Attention, citizen! Multiple third party individuals have reported one or more of your recent actions as being inappropriate. Once a citizen is notified in such a matter, said citizen is reviewed by members of the Adeptus Arbites in accordance to the Book of Judgment. 
Upon review, oh, here we, have we go. Determined that the following actions are in violation of the Book of Judgment. Not puking up rations, being an uppity asshole. <laughs> this is the second and third judgment upon go. your imperial right of existence. Accordingly, we will wreck your face and burn your corpse like the heretic you are. Well, I didn't do anything wrong. Sorry, oh, we boy. cannot accept additional appeals for your innocence at this time, as one of your appeals is still pending. What am oh, my I God. supposed to do then? We appreciate your understanding. Fuck you! I'm joining chaos! <gasps> oh. Just here joining chaos? <laughs> I don't actually blame the uh I honestly don't blame the Inquisitor this time for doing this. Those those two have it coming. Yeah. Multiple yeah. third party individuals has reported one or more of your recent actions as being inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Thank you all so much, and we'll see you guys later. I don't know if I'll post this video, but dear cat. It's actually hey, it, my part five. There is I actually a um, a short, like a kind of like a horror story about it. Um, I don't remember the exact premise, but basically, I think it's based in the hive world where this person was working at a uh, food factory where they basically um, process mutated pigs. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, what happened was, as the story progresses, the person finds a non-mutated pig and decides to keep it, which is highly illegal yeah. in the Hive City. But over time, it turns out that the planet has been, um, that the planet is over siege and the guards are trying their best to stop it. But the more context clues we get, which I will explain the clues we get about it, is apparently the invaders are using chemical weapons... The, the main character has a vision of a kindly old man in a garden. Oh, Can you guess no. who that is? Yeah, they're right. being invaded by Nurgle. Oh, by Nurgleites. No. And and the problem is, the more like the more the story progresses, how it gives you clues and stuff, the person kind of slowly goes insane because sadly his daughter got really sick and um he was trying his like I think she no his daughter got sick, but because of the sickness, she passed away. The old man is just like, yeah, hey, it's, it's okay. If you join my garden, you'll be able to be in peace with her forever. Dear and God. then the pig the pig he was taking care of slowly became mutated to the point where he, where, he, uh, where he literally gave up his lover, like his literal husband, to the pig so they could join her in eternal paradise and the garden. And it's just like, yeah, I think the context clue is pretty much we know who it is. Yeah. Also, another thing, another thing I forgot to mention. One of the clues was, um, the the main character kind of got a wound on his hand on accident, and it would not heal. In fact, the, in fact, the infection was getting worse. And it's just like, yeah, this is Nurgle. Yeah, this, this is, is Nurgle. Nurgle doing that shit. Uh, maybe one yeah. day people should make videos about this kind of stuff. But yeah, dear God, mm. I honestly love to do uh, like um like i love the black library dark horror stories they are really interesting because they're focused on normal people just trying to live their lives but at the same time the but at the same time due to xenos chaos or other such things that we don't even know about they come into play and it's really cool because the uh the space marines aren't a part of it they can't be because if you have a uh well they can, but I'm pretty sure they're going to get killed and everyone's going to be like, what a waste of a space marine. That's the point. They're not invincible. They can die like anyone else. The only difference is they have yeah. a better chance of fighting than the humans do. But yeah, no, freaking the horror stories are amazing and I really want to do stuff about it. <laughs> yeah, understandable, yeah. but yeah. If... Chrono. Nurgle's a butt. As an editor, do you think you could edit Fable's voice while having slowly zooming in and out images of uh, Warhammer images while also having his words being displayed on screen? Alright, girl, put it, put it like a like a scrolling thing and then just like 
Like yeah. you put a bunch of image and then you scroll it down. And then you have more mm -hmm. image of it. Yeah. You can you can do that. Maybe. Anyway, thank you all so much. I'll see you guys later.